Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. What we're going to do today is uh, something for you guys that also build computers for other people and uh, you like to, you know, do all your drivers and stuff like that and set it all up for them the way it should be. But maybe you want to give it to them so that they can enter their own username, enter their own password and all that stuff in there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take Windows and put it into audit mode. Uh, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're just going to search here back into our, one second here, C drive under Windows System 32. Let me go down to Windows System 32. And what we're looking for is a program called SysPrep, S-Y-S-P-R-E-P. And there it is right there, SysPrep. So what we're going to do, is we're going to double-click SysPrep. And we can close this up. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, allow us to boot into the out-of-box experience of Windows. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click OK. You don't need to do nothing else. See where it says Enter System Out-of-Box Experience. Now you can also tell it to go into Audit Mode too. Um, this would be useful if you are setting it up for the first time. You just push uh, Control Shift F3 and it'll actually go to audit mode as well. But what we want to do is we want to go to the uh, out of box experience. But first, we're going to go to audit mode. So let me do that first. And uh, we're going to reboot the computer here. It's going to clean this up. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. We'll let this reboot real fast here. I don't know if this is going to show up on the screen until it reboots. That's probably why it uh, it looks like it's freezing. There it goes. <clears throat> okay, so what it's doing now is it's logging in as the administrator. And we'll let this finish up here. Kind of a slow machine to be showing you on, but that's okay. You can watch slowly. Soak it all in. <laughs> all right, so now we are in audit mode. Now, what we can do from here uh, is actually, let's go into our control panel. We'll just scroll down here, Windows System, Control Panel. And we can go into the user's user accounts and we could actually get rid of the uh, Dell account here that I made here we can just delete this account we'll delete all the files delete that account so that what we're doing is we've wiped out uh, our initial setup account that we used to, when we logged in to set up our drivers and all that now another thing you could do is just log in in audit mode before you even go through anything and uh, do it that way as well so anyway so we've deleted that account right there all we have is the administrator account left over now don't mess with that but uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to go into the uh, out of box experience so we're just going to reboot now again let that clean up And we'll let this restart again. You'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. There we go. Booting up. Now this comes in really handy if you want to like pre-install drivers, pre-install some kind of program or something without the end user having to worry about doing it themselves. So what they'll get when you give them their machine would be this screen right here that you're seeing coming up where uh, they'll be uh, allowed to, of course, enter their username and their password. Let me unplug my internet real quick here. There we go. Um, so there we have it. We got the uh, out-of-box screen here. Uh, set it up. Yes. Skip. Don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. Now I can plug my internet back in. 
I'll accept the Windows license agreement. Should be prompting us here in just a second. To, there we go. Let's add your account. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm not going to go on to uh, go on with this again because uh, it's going to ask me here to. Here we go. That's yeah, better. Uh, we'll go test user. I had to unplug my internet there, so it didn't prompt me to enter the uh, Microsoft account. No password. We'll just go next. I'll accept just because we're just doing this as a test anyways right now. Not now. Okay. Come on. Don't you hate when it takes forever when you go to do these setups like this? <laughs> Especially like when I'm making a video trying to do kind of an instructional thing for you guys. And then, of course, you know, you just get bogged down with this shit. Shouldn't take too much longer, though. Yeah, I guess I should have picked a different computer with a faster uh, M.2 on it or something here. <laughs> this is just kind of slow. All right, so we're done. Um, um, as you can see, we've got, you know, the hardware monitor software installed here. Now, if we go into, let's see, this PC, local drive C, users. Now, we no longer see that Dell account. Uh, we got default user zero public and test user, which is the one I just created. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it there. Um, like I said, this is useful for people that actually build computers, sell the computers, and you want to give them back to somebody who's bought it or whatever. And you want to let them do the setup uh, part that you would initially see when you do buy a new computer. Uh, it's just kind of an easier way to... Uh, handle that than doing all the setup and then them complaining like well i didn't have a, uh I, that's not the username i wanted uh that's not the password i wanted and blah 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 this gives them the option of doing it themselves that way you don't have to piss around with it but uh let me switch back over here so that's going to be it for that tip guys uh hopefully you learned something here uh we'll be back with this uh same computer that you see right here uh, in a couple days, I'm waiting for some fans to come uh, um, in. I'm doing some upgrading on this, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in a couple days in the next video, and bye-bye.